And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. I'm Jewel. Just Jewel. And this is the official Atlantic Knife Sidekick C. I didn't agree to that. Shh, you opened the gift, didn't you? Okay. Anyways, this week we're going over the top five Spyderco knives. And to be honest, I can't believe we made it this long without doing them. I completely agree. I knew you would. This is long overdue, so let's not keep our AKers waiting any longer. We chose models due to the popularity mm -hmm. and price. We picked two models from the lower bracket uh -huh, and so three from, let's say, 65, so 70, 80 and up. Yeah, a wide range for you guys. Yeah. And I brought my... That's just my tenacious Spider Coast stack. Okay. So now let's talk about the table. Um, these aren't in any particular order, so I'm just going to start with everyone that I want, and I think it's going to be the Manix 2. We gave one of these away, didn't we? Yes, I believe it was the same uh, color. It was a while ago, too. It was. I mean, I still feel the loss. It was a great it knife. It's in a I might have to though. actually uh, invest in one. In other words, buy one. Mm, yes, but I consider it an investment for both my happiness mm. and my retirement. Uh, well, you're closer to it than me, so I have nothing to say on that subject. I'm always closer to happiness than you. Uh, I meant retirement. If Everybody. only, if only it was like that all the time. Jerk. <sighs> if you whisper it. Jerk! There you go. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I wasn't saying it for them to hear. Maybe it was just, just for you. Anyways. They already know. This knife has a blue G10 handle. Is 4.63 inches closed mm -hmm. and is approximately eight inches overall. The stainless blade is a little over what about three? Yeah, three inches. CPM S30V steel with a satin finish. Hey, Finally, hey. it's got a lanyard hole, which mm -hmm. we know that Jewel loves, a reversible pocket clip, and a ball bearing lock. And I have to say, mm -hmm. this is probably my number one or two spider coat. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, it's also got some minor dripping on the back of the blade and handle. And I think, yeah, there's some on the uh, the back spacer, too. And I think it's a very unique back spacer. Um, jimping here is more for look than use, but I like it. Um, the knife also has a single large spacer, which is kind of where the lanyard hole is, so it's kind of like a built-in spacer. Um, finally, it's got the iconic Spyderco thumb hole for opening, which, how can you like that? Not like that. I mean, it's like the best part of the knife. Also, the uh, clip. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not fond of the wire clips. I like that clip. I like and the I solid love the, clips, too. The ball bearing lock, which you don't like, I do like. Well, we know why you like it. Okay, you're like, you're... Yeah, it kind of reminds me of, I like the compression lock, but you can't really flip all that well. I like the ball bearing lock better. Okay. And you can get it at... R.A. Cares. See? I've snapped it so much, it's starting to rattle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like your car. At AtlanticKnife.com for only one fifty nine twenty five. Did you know that? Yeah. Did yeah. you? Yeah, I did. Number four mm -hmm. is the Spyderco Tenacious. Ooh. But first, don't hesitate to click that like and subscribe somewhere. button. Oh, somewhere. Um, and if you want to see more knife and tool videos, sound the bell. Does that sound? Does that work? I think it works. Like sound the alarm. Yeah, sound the bell. I I'm using it. Sound the bell in uh, order to receive notifications. We're always posting, always, Atlantic Knife. New videos every day of every week. So be on the lookout. Uh, okay, number four uh, is going to be this one. Yes. I think if you don't have multiple Tenacious, then you, might well, then you might not even have any. Why well, have any? So tell them about it. Tell them about the Twinkie. Sure. Uh, so you guys know we did this knife for Christmas in July special. It was one of the knives in C's collection. Right? The, uh, the, oh, except yours had copper scales. You're just, I should have just, I should have just looked at it. I was like, you have it right there. Uh, it has copper scales, though they're not on properly. But 
They hey, were on there. Stop with that. Have you gotten those washers yet? No, I haven't. I haven't asked anybody yeah, for them yeah, yet. Yeah, he'll continue to procrastinate. Probably like Ian his deathbed and be like, I still didn't get those washers. <laughs> a reason not to die. Oh, good point. Uh, anyways, what I like about this one is the black finish blade and the Coyote Brown uh, G10 handle. I like the copper scales, but I like these two. And so I'm a girl, so I like being able to change the accents on my knife. I would definitely carry this one outdoors. I mean, I like going to the national parks, you know, and getting my, my stamps. And I always need a knife with me, and this would be the one I would bring. I you might change it to like OD Green. What? You have a stamp book? Yes, I have a stamp book. You know what's funny? What? I knew that. Oh, yeah. I think I think you were there because I think we went there for one of the company things. West Virginia. Was, it was the giant bridge. That's where I got the book. What was the bridge called? Do you remember? Some. Uh, I can't remember. Gorge, uh, River Gorge. Something like that. New River Gorge? Yeah, That's New River Gorge. That's it, because I got a pin for my hat, too. Wow. Just, <laughs> they made a chunk of change off me. Mm. Eh, yeah. Anyways, uh, this knife is different from yours, your Tenacious, in a few ways. It's got the black finish blade, of course, and a black finish pocket clip. Uh, it also has a 8CR13 MOV blade that's partially serrated. True. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the serrations. Mm -hmm. I mean, they look impressive. Yes. And my type of serrations, I like VEF serrations, uh, which you'll only find on CRKTs. But, unless I'm doing something with it, mm -hmm. then I'll, the serrations, perfectly the serrations fine. come in handy in certain things. Mm -hmm. you need it Unlike you, I don't tend to add the extras to the knife. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Don't confuse customizing your knife with adjusting your knife to match your outfit. Okay, fine. You say tomato, I say tomato. Anyways, let's call the whole thing off, really. This knife, like all Spyderco's, has a thumb hole for opening, a couple of spacers, and jimping on the back of the blade. And you know what else I like about this knife? Tell me about it. It's a liner lock. I'm not a big fan of the ball bearing lock, as you said. I mean, it's great. I think the liner lock is just more me. I can actually handle it and not cut myself. Well, I mean, and come on. You can get a Tenacious from yeah. uh, 50 to 60 bucks. You can get one carbon fiber scales. You can get one green. You can get one tan. You we can also get have one... a carbon fiber one here. Yeah. It's I mean, my favorite. black blade, plain blade. I might have to get this one. If you can't find one you like, I like you just don't like knives. I mean... But, but, and, but everybody has to like knives in some form or another, whether it be kitchen knives or paring knives or sculpting knives. I do still find that interesting. People say, I don't like knives. And you're like, well, how do you eat? You, you cut your steak, don't you? Or do you just toss it on there and watch the cow roll yeah, around? I whip it out and be like, come on, cut that pie. All I right. cut a pie once. Did you? Yeah. Except it wasn't with a spider co. It was with a, a Dijo. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. That was it. Oh, that, that was... got posted. Wait, wait, that wasn't a pie though. It was cornbread. No, it wasn't. I don't I don't like cornbread. Cornbread and a No, metal. it wasn't. It was blueberry like blueberry cobbler or something. We're talking about the same place in Tennessee. Yes. I don't it, it was it. Look, the camera tech the camera tech was there and she's online. like, Yes, it was cornbread. I'm like, No, it's not. It was blueberry something like a mixture right. I can't remember what it was. well okay. let's move on Moving to our next on. knife okay next knife is probably mm -hmm. my favorite spider co okay it's the resilience okay i brought mine look look i know you play with yours i'll put mine back another great 80 edc um i can see why yours it made like the top mine. five really i never would have thought that hmm I know why it made into the top five, guys. Uh, me too. It's nice. Tell you why. It's mm. got a sleek oh. 4.25 inch HCR Mob 13, 13 Mob, excuse me, uh -huh. blade. Right. Which some people do, they don't, they don't like the Chinese made blades, but I've never had a problem with mine. Neither have I. <laughs> so. It's black G10 handle, lanyard hole. Mm -hmm. It's got the Spyderco thumb hole. Whoop, whoop. Um, it's also about, what, nine and a half inches overall when completely opened? It's a big one. Yeah. Yep. Um, 
its name yeah just sounds cool it resilience does. i mean yeah i should make that my middle name <laughs> i mean this very knife so sturdy yeah. and strong like most spider coats you shouldn't go with my middle name is danger i mean you can you can beat this thing you can use it to do pretty much anything you yeah, want to and i'm sure you would probably beat it in, by changing the scales on it you just i don't know if you it can. all up I bet you'd have to have them custom made and i don't think that's Could, worth it what that's worth it. I saw, look guys, I was looking up Spider Co. a couple days ago. I don't know why I just was. And I saw someone had made custom carbon fiber G10 composite scales with, pause for effect, the Batman symbol on them. I was like, whoa, these are perfect for me. I don't know what they went on though. That's the only problem is I was just looking up what pe different people had done. And I was like, those are nice, but I don't think they were for the resilience. I think they were something like a... Uh, not the little tiny bug one. It was for a larger one. I don't know. They make them for everything. Yeah, but these were for something special. I can't remember. It was. All right. A couple Let's days move ago. on. Oh my gosh! You freaking changed your. Our next Spider Co is the Police Model Lockback, which comes in both non-serrated and serrated versions. Obviously, we should have brought the serrated one for him, but we're going to show you the more popular one, which is the uh, non-serrated one. I always found the shape of this blade interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's unusual for Spydercos. Something different in terms of blade shape, and especially the markings on the blade. Yeah. Police. I feel like anyone uh, carrying this should have to flash a badge or something. There it is, Jake. I like the united look. The whole look, I like it. I mean, usually I, I prefer more color in my knives, but here all the pieces are like working together to create the whole knife. I mean, they're all the same finish, however, wow. but each part stands on its own. I mean, you know what I mean? I almost thought you were describing a work of art. It is a work of art. I mean, the VG10 stainless blade, I mean, draws your attention, and then the, uh, crap, uh, uh, the 2CR13 stainless handle keeps your attention. Uh, finally, this knife also has a reversible stainless pocket clip. Uh, a lanyard? No, there's no lanyard hole in this. Mm -mm. No, the police model. Unfortunately, there's no lanyard hole, but you can find other ways to carry it. It's got the pocket clips. You can just clip it on your belt or your pocket or something. Um, the Spyderco thumb hole. And finally, this one is nine and a half inches overall as well, right? Yeah, nice size. Yeah. I think the, I like the large knives myself, of course, mm -hmm. especially this one. They just fit better. However, sometimes you need a, a smaller knife for, you know, carrying around work, something like that. I mean, it depends on the situation. Wow. That was a C tip of the day. Uh, the jewel tip of the day is that you guys can grab your own police model lockback on AtlanticKnife.com for only... <coughs> 133.25. You know, this knife is uh, one of the reasons why I started liking Spider Co's in the first mm. place. Because I was a younger person when that movie originally came out. That squabbles, boy. Thanks for the help. Mmm, were you? Yeah, I can't remember how old I was. Oh, I kind of imagine you just coming out as you are right now. Yeah, I might have been like, I don't know. I hate to say because I can't remember when that movie was made. Be careful. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. So I had to... Come on. That my, was good. Yeah, my, my jewel tip of the day was great. Mm. You sound surprised. <laughs> I'm great all the time. Uh, that brings us to our final knife. Um, and number one, the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Jewel picked it number one. Yes, I picked it number one. I would not pick it number one. Well, I didn't say they were in a particular order, but if I had to choose all these on the table, this would be close to the top, mm -hmm. yes. Well, I think for the every person, mm -hmm. uh, that's obvious why, because it kind of meets everybody's needs. Mm -hmm. I mean, this knife definitely has had some work done. Uh, when you compare it to the older uh, classic model. I know, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. This one has a uh, black finish, um, three and a half inch CPM, S30V stainless blade with a camo G10 handle. The handle itself has been narrowed mm -hmm. at the end to improve the ergonomics. Also the profile of both the handle and the blade are thinner than the older model, mm -hmm. uh, which gets rid of more 
uncomfortable angles that appear when the knife is uh, and the, I think it was the closed, closed yeah, yeah. Um, this knife also has a compression lock which is right there uh, and an ambidextrous four-way pocket clip ready so you mean it's right hand tip up right hand tip down left hand tip up and left hand tip down yes hmm. great way that'll to show make off. everybody happy yeah. even if they're right-handed or left-handed what if you're not either one of them then I guess you'd have to use your feet that'd be interesting Toe to see. Carry. if you can open this knife with your feet be sure to let us know okay we're not asking you to do that <laughs> but if you we can, don't want to be held responsible I think I just heard the boss man screaming and I don't think he's even here shh, shh. <laughs> Right. Okay, um, the uh, I also noticed that the blade tip on this knife is a little longer than the original model. Is it? Yeah, hmm. and it's also got more jimping. It's got some on the spine and on the finger choil. Uh, Spider Call has also implemented a new bushing pivot system, which makes for more fluid action. Uh, finally, this knife has got a larger lanyard hole, and of course, the Spider Co thumb hold for blade deployment. I believe this one also comes in a other colors. I think you can pretty much find it however you want it. Yeah. I mean it comes in camo both with this finish and satin finish. Mm -hmm. There's also a black handle, blue handle, summer color to the Mannix. I mean mm -hmm. it all depends on your preference. I mean I like the black one or the blue one. What about you? You know I don't have anything camo in my collection because usually I'm not a big camo fan but I kind of like this one. It's it's different, so I think I would choose. I think I would choose this one. It is a nice tame camo, not that in your face. I know. I usually don't like the whole loud. I like the color green, but camo. I'm not a I'm not a huge hunter, so I don't feel the need to use camo. That's the only reason you should be using camo is if you're out hunting. And oh, the camo when we live is a color. But you know what? <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I have to tell you. Really? What? You didn't you didn't lose another bet with Wendy, did you? I thought I thought we got that woman help. No, she's over the whole betting at work thing. Oh, that's good. She's on the fantasy football now. Oh no. Oh no is right. She's good. I mean, right now she's got her mock draft picks all prepared. You sound slightly like peeved about that. I am. I mean I understand. I mean she just went from one vice to another, but I mean, no, that's not it. I mean, she won't trade me Aaron Rodgers. Oh. And she's got her Vulcan death grip on that one. Wow. Well, I'm not mad that she went to something else, but fantasy football? I almost wish she went to something else like alcohol like you did. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> fantasy football is kind of like Fortnite for sports lovers. <laughs> and they all take it badly when things go wrong. Lynch. Enough about us, though, and Wendy. <laughs> uh, we want to know what your favorite spider the knife is. It doesn't have to be the one, one of the ones we mentioned in the video, either. It can be any spider co. If you customize yours, let us know. We'd love to see pictures. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Pinterest. No, 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 no. And Instagram. No! See, you got me, you got me all messed. Gosh, that way you can see new videos, sales, or news on any device at any time. All right, very good. Yeah. You stuck a spider on me. What? You know what's funny? What? I'll tell a story real quick. When I was sitting at my desk this morning, it was about mm -hmm. 5 o'clock, I was staring at the screen thinking about something, and a spider popped down from the ceiling came the spider. and landed right on my keyboard. It was a sign. He was like... You're doing Spartacus today, man. What was the sign when I squashed him? <gasps> I was gonna, I was gonna Lynn Thompson him, <laughs> but I didn't have it. In, so, yeah. You didn't have it in you. <clears throat> I have some honorable mentions Whoop. that I want to. Hey, look, they got us matching shirts. Yeah. These are on sale for forty nine. No, um, in fact, <laughs> you should get rid of that. Boss might have a suit. Yeah, he, wa he wants to get paid to have that placement. Honorable mention spider cause I wanted to talk about the Navy Five. Oh, guess what? Now, I'm not very fond of this knife. Brought mine along. It's a too. little small for me. But ladies love the Navy Five. Ladies night. Mm -hmm. That should be a rap mm -hmm. rap name. Ladies love the Navy Five. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That should do our not song. copying anybody there. But no. that's a definite. And I think the uh, camera girl's got one of these too. Right? 
Yes, that one? Yep. she does. You can respond. She has one exactly like that. Is it this actually could be her exact <laughs> I one? Got a feeling. I it. think mine is at home. I got a feeling it might be. Yeah. And it's pink. It's pink. Whoop! F R N handle. But that, that doesn't mean it's ladies because it's pink. It's the size of it. What it's like it? a. Uh, yes, it does. It's like a tenacious, but now it's a little bit smaller, so you can handle it. And then this one, which is a Spyderco no-no to the purest, but I like it, and it's the Domino. The flippers. Oh, oh frame lock. I like the frame and lock. And a flipper. And I like the carbon fiber, but they could have made it a I little don't bit like larger. The flipper studs. Come on. Oh, now some people on that Spyderco they don't like the flipper studs, but we can some call it a like Spidey flip. The Spidey senses tingling. Spidey tab. Spidey That's tab. It. That's more you know what? More accurate. <laughs> When I go to the bar, I start a Spidey tab. Yeah. All right. We got that, one last thing before it? we go. Yeah. Oh, yes. The winner. Cold Steel Bowie of winner. Of the Cold Steel Bowie. Now, I didn't think anybody was going to get it. Wow, wow. West. But there was one person. He pointed it out to me. We're going to move on real quick. That put a, <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Put a post about Disney World tickets and a Mickey show. And I thought... That was close enough. I'd like to see a Mickey show, though. Like Magic Mickey? Mickey's awesome. He's like an American <laughs> pastime. Joel loves Mickey so much. He's a pastime. We will get you a post on Instagram or Facebook when we go down there with Joel wearing Mickey ears. Uh, whoa, not bedazzled $45 Mickey ears, okay? Oh, even the plastic Joel, ones are $45. Do we, do, we, do we want those or do we want to go to college? Are you counting the tax? <laughs> no. That's you want to go to jail? Tax. You want to go home? I got it. You want to go home? You want to go to jail? All right. That's it. Oh, wait a minute. Did we announce the person who won? I think we did. Oh, did we? It's Rick Hawkins. All right. Like Woo! always. Just real quick. <laughs> Sorry, we don't, you don't get much more than that. Okay. We'll mail it to you. We don't need you to contact us. We know your address. We know We know. I think there. he's won before, hadn't he? I think he won something. I think we mentioned him before because exactly. he said, oh, he said, uh, he called, he wanted his name in the show, and he said Dr. C's Knife TV. I chat with him sometimes. And you were like, oh, that's a great name. On, I was uh, like, yeah, but Jewel's not mentioned there. I don't know who he is personally, but I'll, I'll respond to some of his questions on uh, Instagram and YouTube on the weekends when I have the football, as we call it. Like always. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize I said food line on the other side. Wow. I thought it was just a full <clears throat> finger because we're going to... I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. And we didn't do but two or three shameless plugs. Sorry we are that. signing off.